Welcome to Support Videos. My name is Douglas Barreto, and today I'm going to show you how to use a PowerSent web service in SAP Business ID. You have configured an ABAP proxy class to consume a PowerSent web service. I'm assuming you have seen this in the support video how to access a PowerSent web service from SAP. You can access this in this link. And you want to use this uh, ABAP web service class in a business admin for automating some value replacements in your SAP system. The solution is to call the ABAP proxy class in the body implementation. So as a simple example, I'm going to go to SE09 and create a request. I'm going to choose between customizing and workbench. And when I enter the description and hit save, uh, it should call the body that should call the web service and replace the value and concatenate here with the description that I entered. In order to implement the body, just go to SE19. I'm going to use the classic body, CTS request check. Click Create Implementation, enter a name, I'm going to enter Z5, enter, enter a description, go to Interface tab, save before, enter package and change request, and then click, double click before creation to implement. I'm going to use before creation, so it, it's going to replace the text before creating the request. Here I have the code ready. I'm going to go through this code. I just do a front two. So when I hit workbench, it's going to be two. Otherwise, for customize, it's going to be one. So I populate my input structure. Then I instantiate my ABAP proxy class using the logical port that you have set up in the when creating the web service, uh, the ABAP proxy class, and call my method. In this case, it calls do web service operation, but it depends on how you implemented your web service in PowerSender. I pass the input parameter and receive the output parameter uh, from the response. Then I read the response. Uh, it's an internal table, so I have to use uh, internal table commands and concatenate to my description. After that, you have to save it and activate the implementation. Then go back and activate the body so it can work when you go to the transaction. So after implementing, you should go there in SC09 again. Click Create. I'm going to choose Customizing. Enter a description. And hit Save. When I hit Save, it should call my body. That should call the web service and get the, the value. So here I have the value that I entered before, concatenating with the value from the web service. So for calling a web service in Power Center from SAP using a business ID, I'm assuming you have generated your ABAP proxy class to access the Power Center web service. See the support video in this link. And then you have to implement the ABAP proxy class call in the BATI code, the BATI implementation. Any questions, please email us in supportvideos at informatica.com or in Twitter in InfoSupport. Thank you.